Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel guys. Great to be back on another video. <laughs> uh, today's video obviously uh, all about animals, uh, mainly animal food. Um, been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I've had quite a few requests on, on animal food. How to change the way you feed your animals, you know, um, in otherwise what, what they eat and how it affects their growth, you know. So um, this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and how to modify your animal food and its growth um, uh, properties, you know. So yes, but before we get to that, if this is your first time, a warm welcome to you. Please do pause the video now and just hit the subscribe <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched my statistics is 60 percent of my viewers that's not subscribed that's crazy guys what's going on <laughs> come on man just hit that subscribe you you will not regret it you know and that way you can also be updated and especially if you hit the little bell you'll always be updated with my new videos and content and yeah we do some interesting stuff here on the channel there's a lot of lot of things going on I've uh, made a lot of maps uh, for FS22, FS19, so it's all for free. You can just download it off my website. All my stuff is on my website. You just grab it there. It's all yours. Anyways, guys, so let's have uh, a look at that quickly. Now, in order for us to modify the, the animal food, you need to add a animal food XML file to your map. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a, a little a zip file onto uh, nexus mods and then from my website or from the video link if you go to the video link this video uh, just go uh, maximize the show more um, and then you'll find all my links my website all my stuff even my support is there if you're interested in supporting my work um, there you will find the download link for this little um, mod pack i can call it a mod pack but it's actually just an animal food pack and in there will be the one zip file uh, um, well it, it will be a zip file but in there you will find the XML that you need to put into your map so let's have a look at the whole process guys I've just had this on here just for a nice background while we are talking you know <laughs> anyway so what you will do guys is you will download my little zip file animalfood.zip open it up and in there you'll find the XML now you take this unzip this um, or take this animal food and then you'll just drop it on your desktop like so so extract it and then from there you put it into your map like for instance this is now um, the map i'm just busy using for this example is ravenport um, you can also download download ravenport from my we website because um, i've converted ravenport from fs19 into 22 and then what you'll do is somewhere in your um in your map you drop that animal food i've got an xml folder in um, ravenport so i've just dropped it in there there it is animal food and when you open that you will get to the xml that looks like this now in there's all the different animals there's cow sheep pig horse chicken um, and then there's some mixtures and recipes here at the bottom now let's just first talk about the animals now how this work guys is each animal type like cow for instance has got three uh, food groups now each food group has got a production weight to it in other words the first food group is forage by default forage is your mixture like uh, um, tmr you know total mixed ration that is what forage is um, so you will get a hundred percent value from that so one 1.0 is 100% and then the second food group is hay and then the third food group is grass and as you see that goes down in value in other words what how much it will add to the the um, the, the food value of of the animal you know the growth and and um, I would say growth is probably the right word and production weight uh, 0.4 is 40% so so whatever you put in here guys I've just added here to this map um, maize, barley wheat, and sugar beet to the to the three different fruit groups. So maize to the first one, barley and wheat to the second one, and then sugar beet to the third one. And you can now go and test this on your own. If you add maize, it will actually add to all food groups, and that's how, that's how it works. It will give. 100% uh, there but it will also give a little bit to the others and if you go only add grass or say sugar beet 
it will mainly go sugar beet and then add a little bit to the rest you know so that is just how it works um because the animal does get some food, you know, <laughs> production weight, can you say? <laughs> and then there's all the other animals as well: sheep, um, pig, horse, chicken, and that. So all you do, guys, is just add. Don't add food groups here, because the food groups are for. Uh, I've, I've tried uh, before adding food groups, so add another food group. Uh, it doesn't work in the game like that. So stick to the food groups that's there, but just add your feed to the actual food group here yeah, whatever you want to feed it so you can decide what you want to feed your chickens for instance and then just put it in here if wheat barley maize and sorghum is not enough for you just add um, uh, um, for instance uh, if you've got multi fruit on your map maybe rye or spelt or whatever you know so you can add whatever you want there or, or, or clover or whatever you feel like feeding your chickens you can put in there save it Guys, and then the most important thing to do um, is obviously when you open your map up, find your map XML. That is the m file that configures your map um, to run in Giants. So open your map XML and then, I'm just going to close that one, find the animal section and then the food. You change that directory from dollar data um, dollar or dollar data S, uh, change it to the new directory in your map folder where you've placed that animal food that you've extracted so um, in order to do that if you look at this for instance um, Ravenport is my map I'm currently working in and so if I open that so the base is is Ravenport and then I've put that in maps map FR and I've put it in XML so there it is so then obviously the directory will be from the map directory will be maps map FR XML and that's what I've put in there maps map FR XML and then animal food so just and remember the forward slashes and um, just modify that save it and then you will be ready to use that new um, food structure for your animals and then when you go into your map let me open the uh, map so long while we are chatting so we can uh, uh, get that process going um, so yeah whatever you feel like then adding to your food group of your your animals just add it in there and you you grab it in game so let me just start this up quick there you go and now we're going to quickly have a test on that and see how um, it performs now I've already bought the cow pasture and uh, we can just grab the trailer and put some food in there just to show you what 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 it does you know so here we go I think we're almost there great stuff Okay, so now I'm just going to tab into this tractor here. This is the Ravenport map in any way, guys. Um, I'm sure everyone on my channel has been playing this. Everyone loves this map. Um, I myself have spent many hours on Ravenport, especially when it when FS19 came out. <laughs> it was a very nice map. It is still a very nice map. I've made some nice changes to it, so yeah. Great stuff. So now we now at the feeding um, trough so what we're going to do is i'm just going to fill this trailer with say for instance what did we add sugar beet so let us grab sugar beet uh sugar beet sugar beet now that's sugar sugar beet cut where sugar sugar beet there we go all right and immediately you can see the eye pops up so so it means that we can feed the cows some um sugar beet so i'm going to tip and i'm not going to put a lot in i'm just going to put a little bit in just to give you a taste of uh, just like so so I've put I've put about 5,000 liters in there so let's go into the animal um, feed thing and immediately you'll see here it it added a lot on the third food group the grass food group which is 40 percent and it's added a little bit to the others as well so as I fill up here you can see here uh, 965 I thought I added more than that but anyways <laughs> so uh, um, doesn't matter um, so now if we take the trailer the same thing now and we um, let's just fill this vehicle with um, what was this uh, maize I've added maize to uh, or corn where's corn there's corn now corn is called maize so if you type corn in there it, it will not accept it you must type maize in the in the XML um, to to actually get corn I don't, I don't know why it works like that the one place they call it corn and the other place they call it maize can, can it just not stick to one thing I mean it's confusing you know 
<laughs> Anyways, so let's fill the trough now with maize. And, and then just see what happens. And I like what how the troughs also sh uh, shows what you put into the um, the troughs, you know. So now it shows corn there in the full type. Or the full plane, rather. Not the full type, it's the full plane. Great. So, back into the animals. And now you'll see... I can't really see that it's added. So I'm actually wrong, guys. I thought I thought it will add to the rest. So it seems like... Because, I mean, it was at 965 there. So it doesn't add. Sorry, guys. My mistake. Um, I thought... I'm sure in FS19 it worked like that. When you put TMR in, it actually adds to the rest. As well. So maybe they've changed it now. So it doesn't add to the rest if you put TMR or 100% full type thing I'm a bob in there. So, um, yes, guys, so that is how you change what, what you can feed your animals. And now you can modify that to your heart's content. Just download that little uh, zip file of mine. And while you're downloading it, just consider supporting my channel. That will be very awesome. <laughs> you can support my channel just by clicking um, the subscribe button. That also does support my channel. <laughs> or if you're feeling very generous, jump onto my Patreon. Guys, um, my smallest Patreon is $1.00. A month I mean that is nothing guys it is it is absolutely zero <laughs> and with that you get all the privileges of all my uh, patrons I don't have different uh, levels of patreon and whatever you know where if you pay this you get this and if you pay that you get that I've just got one whatever you bless me with you get everything you know so yeah that's how it works anyway guys um, yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Um, there's been a lot of guys asking about this, how to change the feed. And I thought, let me make a video on that and just make this XML available. Because what happens is giants, for some reason, these guys don't like you fiddling around in their stuff, you know. So if you look at the farming simulator um, directory, and if you go in here, you'll find there's the GAR file in there. Now, the that's your dollar data file, guys. Um, it's all encrypted. You cannot go in there. And if you go into your original, um, if you go into your original file, like for instance, if I go into data maps, um, maps, 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 maps. Where's the map XML on this? Oh, I must go uh, in actually go into a map. Then I'll find it. There it is. So if you go into your original map XML, you'll find that the food for animals, it's in the dollar data dollar file. Now that is a, it's not just the dollar data file, it's the dollar data dollar. And that is encrypted. And that's that GAR file you see here. If you go into FM assembly to there. So that's the encrypted file. You cannot open that. There's no way to open it. However, there is guys who cracked it, and that is how we got this file, um, the food XML. So thanks to the guys who cracked it. I'm not going to name names, but <laughs> if it wasn't for you guys, we will not be able to have an animalfood.xml. Whether they've made their own one, I don't know. Or maybe from FS19. Um, but even in FS19, this was encrypted. You know, you couldn't take drag it out of there but anyways it's available for us so we're very grateful for that and um, now we can change the things we like to change in the game so that we can have the game work like normal people should work you know so I don't know why they've done it like that but anyway it is what it is and we have to just work around what what it is you know so yeah great stuff anyway guys have a wonderful awesome day and uh, I'll catch you on the next one take care cheers